have come out to uh, Fischbecker Heide, which is a half an hour's drive outside of Hamburg. And uh, today I get a little bit of a plan. So um, I'm gonna just do a photo shoot, photo shoot out. So what I have is uh, I got my Nikon ZF and I have my uh, uh, Fuji GFX. And what I've always wondered is uh, ever since I got the Nikon ZF, I really fell in love with the, with a deep tone monochrome uh, black and white film simulation in the Nikon. Before that, I always really liked the Acros simulation in uh, in, the, in the Fujis. So I'm going to do a little shootout now, just compare what do they look like side to side, see which one I th think gives the best results just on a walking out, taking shots of whatever in a hopefully similar circumstances. So I have the full loadout, got the Nikon ZF here. And the Fuji GFX right here. So the weather is nice and hopefully it would just be a pleasant little photo hike. Yeah, it's interesting also when you shoot these two cameras side by side, it's uh, you get a feeling for how they feel just to uh, take them out focus, compose, and that kind of thing. And you also get a feeling of the build quality of the two cameras, which is great for both of them. Now, however, the Fuji GFX has a slightly plasticker feel to it, which is not bad by any, any measure. It still feels great. It's just that the Nikon ZF just feels amazing. It's got the heft. It's got the right amount of tension in the dials and all that stuff. It's just a joy to shoot. Okay, this place is actually a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So it's uh, quite the nice hike. I'm up here on the crest and it's quite windy. So this also gives me an opportunity to try out uh, the mic I have. I got uh, one of those wireless uh, Holly Hollywood, not Hollywood mics, but uh, Hollyland, Hollyland mics with a little uh, dead cat on top of it and see how, how it sounds. Let's see. So one thing that I really appreciate with uh, the Nikon ZF that I come to really like is uh, the 3D tracking. So that means it's a different way of um, controlling the focus dot. So in the Fuji GFX, like here for instance, I have to uh, manually move around the dot with a little uh, uh, with uh, my little joystick and then hit focus. But with the 3D tracking, I can kind of grab on to a point and it will uh, uh, track that point. So I can focus, I can recompose like in there with an old camera. It works really well. Let's first get these and this. Well, so that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a short film and I'm only going to compare the Acros versus Deep Tone Monochrome. That's uh, all it's going to be compared to, just to make it uh, easy and simple. And I think it could be interesting to put those uh, two film simulations side by side and see which one uh, you like the most. Uh, I've been shooting this Deep Tone for a couple of weeks now, I've been really impressed with it. It doesn't work in all situations. There are some situations where, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. 
but in certain situations it really shines and then it looks absolutely amazing. So uh, it's uh, worth experimenting with, I think. It reminds me quite a lot about uh, the old Kodak Tri-X, black and white. It's got the same uh, deep, uh, deep tone to it, uh, uh, where things get really dark and kind of uh, carbon sooty almost, uh, which is pretty cool, so that's why I like it. I think I'm actually in the future going to do a comparison with um, Tri-X and the Deep Tone, see how close it actually is, because in my opinion, Deep Tone is a Tri-X film simulator, pretty much. All right, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, like and subscribe.